Welcome back. In our last episode, we went through and we made this logistics system to pull a total of 960 iron ore per minute out of the northern forest to bring it over to here. But we have our nice truck stations and our nice little area to receive all this stuff. Uh, I've been working a little bit to get us set up for this episode, which is going to be processing all of that, which is going to require a lot of smelters. So I've kind of set up this little room in here, and we're going to probably have to add to it to get a little bit bigger to house the amount of smelters that we're going to need. Uh, of course, this is sitting right across from everything right here. This is all of your iron ore coming through. Uh, we're going to get rid of these awesome sinks, and we're going to make a nice little smelting area to get ready to process all this stuff into the iron ingots that are needed for the solid state stuff. So all that being said, guys, let's get into it and start placing some stuff down. Okay, so the main thing that we've done so far is obviously build these little stairs, and we have this elevated a little bit just to kind of make this a little bit prettier in here. Uh, when I was doing my original factory, like the first one for this world, I didn't elevate my buildings, and I think it made it look a lot worse. So we're going to go ahead and stick with trying to ele elevate them in this one. Uh, I did go through and I made some blueprints. Uh, just to kind of make this a little bit easier. We have four pure nodes, which are going to be... Let me give it a little bit of space there, just so we can kind of get uh, everything up there. Maybe we'll go to half. Yeah, that's right down the middle of it. I'm going to need a total of 9 times 4, whatever that is, 1836. I'm going to need 36 smelters, which is going to be quite a bit uh, in here, just to kind of fit everything that we need. Um, I did get blueprints, though, and I kind of did them in even numbers, so I just broke them down. You have six, and then you have three, so this would be your nine, uh, and then I have two just in case for future endeavors, uh, but we're just going to snap this right here, just like that. Uh, then I need to add the other three. We'll take our three smelters right there, right there, and then we're going to give it like a small little gap because we're going to need to pull a conveyor lift from the floor, so we'll have a conveyor lift right here. That'll go down underneath the floor, and that will actually uh, get the iron ore from over there. And we're going to do this all underneath. Um, and then we need, of course, uh, conveyor lifts right here to go down to move them over to wherever the hell they need to go next. So that's the idea. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long to get all this blueprinted. One, two, three, four. Yep, I've already placed that. I'm going to do the other section, and then I'm going to start working on belting it, and it should be done here real soon. All right, so we got everything wired and powered. Uh, I still have to do some connecting belts, like right here. Uh, in between the sections and go from six to three. So there should be another one like right here uh, And I'm gonna do that for the mergers and the splitters on the other side But the main thing I'm doing right now is I'm gonna be taking the conveyor list I talked about it took out some of the room here just so I can kind of get a good idea of how low it needs to go uh, We're gonna face them towards uh, The truck stations that are gonna be directly behind us here, and then we'll use that to Probably do some conveyor lifts on the floor uh, the mergers on the end for the eggs, it's going to be a little more difficult. So we're going to have to figure out some of that. Uh, in this sense, it can't really go this way like I want it to. So we're going to have to turn these sideways. Uh, the mergers we're going to handle at the end. So they're going to probably have to go down and go this way. Um, I may even do like a double merge line. So I can't merge them. I don't have stuff. But the, the mergers are going to be a little harder to figure out. We're going to work on that later. Uh, right now, I just want to get the stuff into here. Uh, and then we'll kind of figure that out. Okay, so we're kind of at like a temporary, temporary fix is why this is starting to look so messy down here. We are going to go through and get everything nice and organized here eventually, but for right now, we're just kind of making do. Uh, we're going to take the merge lines that we talked about, which are going to be these ones right here. Uh, we're going to run them down farther than they're supposed to be, and then we're just going to have these go right into these new awesome sinks that are pushed a little bit further away. These ones are sticking through. I'm sure you've seen those antennas so far. So now we're going to set up all the merge lines to get... Uh, sunk and then from there we should be able to just put the iron ore coming out of the truck stations into the splitter uh, lifts right here and then we should be able to turn all this on it'll get processed into iron ore and then from there it'll go off uh, into the resource sinks and we'll just have like a, a new section of it automated not really to get some points but just so we can kind of get some of this stuff organized a little bit better and get these resource sinks out of the way okay it does need more organized for sure but it's heading in the right direction. Uh, I gotta just throw some right angles down, some stuff like that. But I should be able to get that worked out without too much of a hassle. I'm just gonna do some stuff up here. Um, this is now bringing down the iron ore for right here. Uh, we did do the whole, um, what is it called? Bus manifold? But it, we did the thing where it doesn't work immediately and then we gotta add to it a bunch. So we're gonna sit there and watch it and make sure that I've got it all right. Uh, probably get about you know 10 15 minutes as long as it's working good. We can move on to our next step, which is going to be doing all of our foundry stuff uh, up here with our iron ore and our coal. 
Uh, so we're making a lot of a lot of really good progress, and we're going to be making a bunch of steel by the end of this video. Okay, so it looks like we have a whole bunch of green lights. Um, when I'm checking the usage or the uh, percentage on here, it is slowly rising, so I think it is going to get to 100%, and I think that this is working, which is really, really good news because I've never had a system where I'm transporting resources and smelting them. Um, and it's working at 100%, which is really, really important news uh, that this is actually going to work somehow. Um, so this is good, which means we need to work on our next step, which is going to be taking a lot of these coal nodes down here, like this one. Uh, we have one here, and then we have our third one. Now we have four pure nodes coming in for transport, and we also have a fifth one up at top. Uh, but we're going to have to make this work with these normal nodes by overclocking them into the 270%. Um, this one is kind of a wash, unfortunately, because it has to be used to fuel the truck stations up here. Uh, we're not going to take away from that until we actually get some sort of alternative source of fuel, which is probably going to be once we get to refineries and stuff like that, we're going to actually start to, uh, you know, transport fuel over here as opposed to just using the coal. So it's a bit unfortunate that we won't get able to get everything out of here until we get leased into manufacturers, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to take some time here, start to organize underneath this a little bit, try to fix this up to where we can get... Uh, what we need to where we need it and get our foundries working okay we're starting to add in quite a bit of belts here so the way we're going to solve this is by using some of these uh racks that apparently i'm going to fall down while i'm trying to place um pretty much this is going to be uh, our transport section for our iron ingots coming across uh and then we're going to have our three coal miners worked into there somehow as well um, and they're going to come here and get transported all the way down to over there. Uh, on this end cap section is where we're going to be doing all of our um, steel production. Uh, we're going to get all the ingots and stuff done over here. And then from there, it'll have to get transported off to wherever the constructors are going to be. The reason why we're doing it all the way over here, which seems really, really um, like a bad place. Uh, but it does have all of our iron ore, which uh, if I was a little bit smarter, I could have switched swip swap these mergers around and have them come this way uh, it just makes it a little bit harder for me it's not a big deal i just wasn't really planning out as well when i was making the blueprints um we're going to use this section for that copper node right there uh plus once we get more of the copper ingots and the stuff from over that side because there is some more nodes over there that we're going to grab once we get all the stuff kind of brought over with logistics then we're going to use this section for more smelters we can just continue to bring the smelters out and we're going to run our foundries down this way so that's the idea. Uh, fortunately, I am kind of crossing my stream, but it's not that big of a deal. We're going to get organized, and we're going to make this look a lot better down here. So I'm up here building the blueprint that I'm going to need for these foundries, and I want to do a little bit of math when I'm kind of processing all this. So we're going to be using um, 270 times 3, which is going to be our pure nodes, uh, times the 3 coal nodes that we're using. So it comes out to 810. Now this recipe that we're going to be using is the solid steel ingot which has a conversion rate of 1 to 5. So we're only putting 40 in, but we're getting 60 out. Now when we do that, you're able to take the 810 that we were originally going to have and then multiply that by 3, not 3, <laughs> definitely not 3. It's 1.5, uh, which comes out to 1,215 uh, steel per minute, which is the most that I've ever made out of anyone, like, or any of the, the factories that I've did before. Even like the blue factory, we had the three heavy modular frames per minute. That was only using about 480 coming up like, I want to say 640 is the, the rate on that, the, the change. It's probably not that. I'm not, I'm doing the numbers in my head. Don't worry about it. But it, it was only around 600. This is double that, which is an egregious uh, amount of steel production. So we're going to keep working with this and uh, hopefully we'll have some steel here in just a second. All right, so I got our foundries laid down and that's all good. Uh, we are overclocking all these, which did use up a lot of my power shards. I only have one left, which unfortunately means I'm going to have to go get some more before I can actually do the miners. Uh, we were able to figure this out down here. Uh, we do have some of this kind of sand in our way that's not making this the best. I can try to bring this this way a little bit, maybe organize it a little bit better than what I have it as right now. But uh, for the most part, this is going through the ground. And you're really not going to see it anyway. So as long as this section looks fine, that's more what I care about. Um, I'm going to have to go find some more power shards, and then I'm going to overclock the miners, and I just need to belt the merge, the mergers from the iron ingots and stuff above these smelters right here, uh, down into these lines, and then the coal, and then we should be making steel at an egregious rate per minute. Um, what the, what the, the hell is that? Is that like a super spawner? <laughs> um, I don't know how to feel about this. 
All right. Ooh, okay. There's a lot of dudes. There's a lot of dudes. Jeez. Okay. That definitely, uh, definitely makes this more of a problem. So I was just looking at this, and I was getting ready to place down some resourcings over here to kind of handle the belting situation for this. Um, and I realized that I had this overclock to 90, which comes out to 270. Uh, and in my mind, that just made sense, because I've got three 270 belts coming in, but I have this uh, <laughs> alternative recipe that multiplies it. So this is just the output belt at 270. This is the input belt at 270, which means that the nine foundries that I have here is not even half of what I need. Because this is only 360 out of the 270 times three, whatever that is, 810 that I need. Uh, so I'm going to need a lot more foundries. Like a lot more foundries. <laughs> which means I need more power shards. And I have some. But uh, yeah, this is this is very quickly multiplying into a, a massive project. Okay, new terrible plan. Uh, we're gonna overclock these extremely far, which means the power consumption on this is gonna get really really high, um, which hopefully shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I think the the multiply the, the multiplier on it goes just like two point five. I want to say uh, don't quote me on that at all, but I think that you should jump up to about maybe like forty. And I have nine of them. So. 360 megawatts of power just for the foundries. This will raise our max consumption up to about 25, 2600. Uh, which gives us not a bunch of room to play with once we start doing all the constructors and everything that we're going to need to do this. Um, I also need more power shards. I've, I've only put in like half of these. And... Um, I'm going to have to go get some more power shards, and then I'm going to have to figure out where we're going to go from this, because this is just uh, very, very quickly landsliding into a, a huge ordeal that I was not uh, really prepared to handle. So uh, this also means that with the, the input rates being at 270, now the multiplier is coming out the end. Uh, this is no longer 270, which means these merge lines are not going to work for the three that I have. So I'm going to pretty much have to do a weird uh, blueprint split. So you're going to have two of them per line. So now you're going to get you'll get two. So this will be 260, 260, 260, 260. And then you have a fifth one on the end. It'll just be the 135 or the, the 90. It, it's 135. This one isn't overclocked. So you're going to have five output belts and they're just not going to be uh, on the same system, which is kind of complicated to explain. But that's how we're going to handle it. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to do a bunch of load balancing because I'm going to have belts of 260, which um, usually tends not to work out very well. So this is a load balance system that we're going to have to put at the end of this, and then we'll have smelters for the copper. And then above all this is going to be our constructors and our assemblers and everything else that we need. And um, I'm stressed out. I'm, I'm stressed out. Let me just uh, let, me go, let me go find some more slugs. Okay, so I collected some more power shards. I was able to kind of fill all these up. I've belted the bottom of them, so now you have your five outputs over here. Um, all I did was on every other. You can combine two of these together with a merger, but after that I run out of belt capacity with these Mark Threes. So it's just one, two, one, two, and that goes all the way down to you get to your fifth one that's by itself. Just because we have nine smelters, it just doesn't work out like that. Um, so you have your five outputs, uh, and then from here it goes down into five awesome sinks. Uh, it's just what we're doing. So now we're moving these awesome sinks to over here. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is I have to overclock the coal generators, or sorry, the coal miners, uh, and then connect them into our transport belts right here. Uh, and then from there, we should be good to go. We're just going to move the iron and the coal into these, and then that should start up. And we should start making steel at a very high rate per minute. So let me overclock these, and then we'll uh, I'll give you an update here in a second. Okay, we're cleaning up down here. I did get everything connected and uh, fully overclocked, so it should all be working. We now only have this one ironing good down here that's going to this one. So even after this whole system's up and running, we still have uh, another 240, sorry, 270 uh, ironing ingots per minute that we can use for other stuff. 
without even dipping into the pure note up there, which we're going to save it. But it's cool to think that we have this amount of stuff going on. We're already starting to receive steel at a very high rate. And we're going to go up there and check and make sure that everything is all good and that we're keeping up because now we have a logistic system running into a manifold, which was working correctly, but now it's running into another manifold, which is starting to stress me out. So let's go up here and make sure everything's good, and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, I've been letting this run for a little bit. It looks like we have green all the way across the board. We have 100 on all of these, uh, and this is producing uh, a lot of steel. Uh, the power consumption is a little bit higher than I said. I said 40, it's at 46. Um, not that big of a deal. It's more about how it's going to convert over here because we do have a lot of more systems running. So we're up to about 27, which means we don't have uh, too much more to work with. We've got about 1,000 megawatts of power. Um, as long as we don't overclock any of the assemblers that we're going to be using, which I'm just off of thinking about it. It uh, depends on how much we get out of it. We'll probably need... Ooh, probably three of these for the concrete. Then we got stators. We have motors. We have iron plates and rotors to make. So we're probably going to need about 20 of these, which is maybe like 350 something power, something like that. And then the constructors really are like a drop in the bucket. As long as you don't overclock those, they should be okay. We are going to need a lot of them, but it really shouldn't be like too much of a power draw. So I'm thinking we're just going to squeeze by and be able to finish uh, pretty much everything for phase two out of this factory uh, with what we have going on. Um, I'm going to look around here, try to find some new things to do, try to head off in the next direction. Okay, I looked around and I patched like a couple little cosmetic stuff here and there. I cleaned up these belts underneath. Um, we're going to call this a completed video though, because this is pretty much what we set out to do was to do all this uh, ore processing. Um, which uh, I know this is literally all about smelters, so it probably was a little bit of a boring episode, but we got a lot done, and then now we've set ourselves up to be able to convert uh, over 1,200 steel in our next episode, which is going to be a huge project, and it's going to be a bunch of stuff between uh, all the rotors and stators and the encased steel beams and everything else that we have to do. We have a couple of concrete nodes that we have to process, um, and this is very quickly turned into a massive project, and I don't know if we're going to be able to fit everything in this area. We're going to keep working on it, and uh, if you're enjoying the videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and we're going to keep posting as we go. Either way, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will speak to you later.